What's up, everyone? This is Christian Duke, and you're watching Iron Mag TV, episode 13, 12, 14, who knows? But today is October the 16th, I believe it is. It's Friday, TGIF, and the news that the Welsh Dragon, James Flex Lewis, not being able to do the 2020 Mr. Olympia has spread like wildfire throughout the fitness industry. People are asking themselves why. People are saying he could have possibly won. You know, I had him at the top two, uh, right there next to Brandon Curry, the prophecy himself. And I got to tell you something, for me, for the old Iron Duke, that's a hell of a prediction because that would have meant that uh, Flex would have gone over the likes of Dexter Jackson, Hottie Choop, and Ruley Winkler. I mean, you know, Phil Heath, wherever the hell he's going to place, although I still don't think he's going to place in the top three. But, you know, I had Flex Lewis up there, and I got to tell you something. It seems like he may have injured himself. It seems like uh, he's in the process of getting that corrected. We don't know if he, in fact, has already had it corrected, and he's in that rehab process. But I think what's important about Flex is he's making a decision that is going to preserve the longevity of his time in the sport of bodybuilding. So I think that's very important. I think that, you know, whether or not he's already had the procedure done, whether or not there is a procedure to be done, because again, it could be a situation where, you know, time will heal it. You know, there are situations where, you know, an athlete could have, you know, um, have pulled a muscle, could have a sprain, could have something that really just requires just rest. You know, I, I think that it's great that the Walsh Dragon is also not going to get on stage at anything but 100%. This is an athlete that won the 212 Olympia Showdown seven consecutive times who dominated in a way unlike uh, that of his colleague Phil Heath, who also won seven consecutive times because there were times where you know, Kai Green or Sean Flexer, Sean Roden, quite frankly, had edged Phil out. And I don't know, somehow Phil was able to hang on to the Sandow. But uh, James Flex Lewis, the dominance uh, that he had over the 212, really, honestly, uh, he was in a league of his own. I mean, his uh, run was, 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 was stellar. I mean, you know, even the guys who he beat, Eduardo Correa, Ahmed Ashkenani, you know, these guys you know, uh, they, they could not help but say, look, you know, we are witnessing greatness. You know I mean? I don't know that Sean Roden or Kai Green really ever said that about Phil Heath, not to like throw shade on Phil, but I'm just saying that the level of dominance, uh, you know, employed by Lewis over the 212 was unlike any we've seen since the likes of the totally awesome Lee Haney or the big nasty Ronnie Coleman. So the fact is, he was not going to get on stage at his, really his Olympia debut, open Olympia debut. He's done the open before, but this is sort of like a like another debut in the sense that, you know, it's the first Olympia he does since leaving the 212, so hyped up, you know, uh, you know, and, and, and I, I, I have to give him credit for that. I have got to give him credit for that because we've seen, you know, top six Olympians other years, uh, you know, get on stage. Phil Heath, arguably, uh, getting on stage in 2017 and really 2018, looking the way that he did. You know, James Flex Lewis is not going to do that uh, in 2020. So I think it's it's good that he pulled out. I think it's good that he did it 10 weeks out, which also, that's a third point. So the first point is health. His health is the most important thing. He's protecting his health. You know, he's talking to his camp, which he pointed out was his wife, which was his coach, you know, Neil Hill, which is, I mean, you know, has been by Flex's side the whole run. And, uh, and he also spoke to his close friends and possibly even his fans and maybe the media, who knows, but he spoke to his camp and, you know, it, it was decided that he should not do it for his health. So that's point number one. Point number two is he's not going to look like, I'm going to be honest here, he's not going to look like anything but 100%. I wouldn't say like crap, but he's not going to look like anything but 100%. This is a guy who's won the 212 Olympia Showdown seven consecutive times. This is a guy who takes his legacy seriously. This is a guy who also has a lot of respect for that stage. You know, he's getting up there the final time, quite possibly, that, you know, 2008 Mr. Olympia nine-time Arnold Classic champion Dexter the Blade Jackson will be competing, will be retiring at. He's not going to sully the stage by getting up there at anything less than 
You know, he's up there against William the Conqueror, Bonnick, an Arnold Classic champion, a Mr. Olympia runner-up. He's up there against Ruley Winkler, the 2018 People's Champion. He's up there against people like, you know, Phil Heath coming back, you know, to hopefully win his eighth Olympia, which is not going to happen, but that's his hope to tie Haney and Coleman. He's up there with Brandon Curry, reigning Mr. Olympia, who's going to be defending his title with everything he's got in the tank. Plus, there's all these other guys. You know, you got your, your Antoine Valance. You, you got your Ian Valeres. You got your Hunter Labrada, who, who won his pro debut. You may possibly have Nick Walker up there. You know what I mean? May have Akeem Williams, who may have won the Chicago Pro by then, which is happening right now as we speak. So he has a lot of respect for the stage. But point three, which is also very, very important, is he has a lot of respect for the event. You know, if I was Jake Wood, if I was Dan Solomon, if I was, you know, Sean Ray or Bob Chicarillo, I'd be on the phone thanking Flex for making the decision, but more so for making the announcement 10 weeks out. You know, he could have done this the week before the show and really hurt the Olympia. Now, why would he do that? Well, because, you know, some bodybuilders would do it because... You know, that's nine more weeks of a lot of media exposure, nine more weeks of a lot of fan interest, nine more weeks of being hot, basically, you know. But Flex has so much respect for the Olympia and for the competitors at the Olympia and for us, the fans, and for the media that knowing 10 weeks out, he made the announcement right now. So I think that also speaks volumes of him as an I Pro League uh, professional bodybuilder, as the 212 ambassador, which he will forever be. Kamal Gargani, the Lion of Libya, is the reigning 212 Olympia Showdown champion. But let's be honest, guys. Most people still look to James Flex Lewis as the ambassador of 212. Even though he's not actively competing in the 212, it is what it is. But in addition to being that ambassador perpetually of the 212, and in addition to all of his love for the sport and the fans and the event, you know, he's a consummate professional. He's a consummate professional because he has gone on record, removed himself from the competition 10 weeks out. And now, you know, the next nine and a half weeks, you know, a lot of people are not going to be talking about Flex Lewis. But you know what those people are? You know who those people are? Those people are bandwagon people. People like myself, people like you, the readers of IronMagazine.com, you're going to continue talking about Flex. You're going to continue singing his praises. You're going to continue wishing him well and keeping him in your prayers because you and I, we are real bodybuilding fans. And the people that don't talk about him, that don't give him time of day, they're, they're, they're losers anyways. The point is, though, guys, is that I'm very, very proud of Flex for making this decision. I'm sure that he had a lot of pressure on his back, on his shoulders. I'm sure a part of him wanted to compete. And, and, and just, you know, chance it, but he did the responsible thing. He did something that other bodybuilders who find themselves in a similar situation can look to for, you know, some solace. And I think that's important. I want to see James Lex Lewis compete for many, many more years. I want to see him basically follow in the footsteps of Dexter Jackson. You know, Dexter Jackson, if he decided in, you know, two months' time that he does not want to retire, he don't have to retire. He's not injured. He took second place, or yeah, second place at the Arnold Classic. I almost thought he said he almost won, but he almost won it. You know, he's not injured, and my gosh, you know he's going to be in the top six again. So if he doesn't want to retire, he doesn't have to retire. He's retiring because he wants to retire. He's not in pain. He ain't broke. He's got a million different things he could do. He's choosing when he goes out. That is that is a huge luxury that a lot of bodybuilders simply don't have. You know, Ronnie didn't get to choose when he went out. He went out because he was in excruciating pain. Dorian didn't get to choose when he went out because he got injured, and he was injured the year before that also. He shouldn't have won that Olympia, but he did. So it's a great thing to have the luxury to retire whenever the hell you want to retire. And it's also a great luxury to compete whenever the hell you want to compete. And so by him taking that step back, focusing on his health, making 100% recovery, he can compete for however long he wants. 
And that's what we want. We want to see Flex Lewis around for however long he wants to be around, not in pain, not in agony, not taking a cortisone shot every month, but just enjoying the process, enjoying the journey. So I've got to applaud James Flex Lewis for jumping out of 212. Uh, excuse me, he already jumped out of the 212 for jumping out of the 220 uh, Open Mr. Olympia. It, it definitely hurt, and we're definitely sad, but I'm happy that he made the right choice, and he did make the right choice, and I'm happy to see him again in 2021, and 2022, and 2023, and 2024, and 2025, and you get what I'm saying. It's Christian Duke signing out for Iron Mag TV, brought to you courtesy of IronMagLabs.com. Don't forget to use discount code IML15. It'll save you 15% off site-wide at IronMagLabs.com in the morning, in the afternoon, at night, and in every single day that ends in Y.